Okay, so this is question mixing algebra and areas and perimeters, um, and quite a standard question on the exam, quite a standard difficult question on the exam, but the method of working out is always the same. Um, what you need to do is uh, find out what the perimeter for this triangle is in algebra, find out what it is as a number, and just get those equal to each other. This will make sense as we go on. So the perimeter is the distance around the shape. So if you pick a point, I'm going to pick here, and just walk around the shape. And so it's going to be x minus 1 there. And keep walking. And I'm going to add it on to 4x plus 1. And keep walking. And we're going to add a 4x. And the perimeter is just all the sides added. Now, as a number, it says that it is 144. And there we go. We've got ourselves an equation to be able to solve and find out what x is. I probably need longer lines than that. So, we're going to collect the like terms on the left-hand side. So, we've got an x plus a 4x plus a 4x, which will be 9x. Then we've got a minus 1 plus 1, that's nothing, and ah, there's nothing left. So it's just 9x equals 144. Okay, now to get rid of the 9, we need to divide by 9, because that's a times 9 on the x. So we're going to do 144 divided by 9, which is 16. So x equals 16. Okay, so we find out what x is, which is a good start, but it doesn't answer the question yet, because we need to use that information to find out what the area of the triangle is. Well, this bottom one here says 4x, so we're going to do 4 times 16, which is 64. So we know the length of that is 64. This one here uh, says x minus 1, so we're going to do 16 minus 1, which is 15. Now to work out the area, we're going to do half times base times height. We've worked out that the base is 64 and the height is 15. So we're going to do 0.5 times 64 times 15 and it gives me the answer of 480 which is my answer. Now it says it's in centimeters, uh, it says the perimeter is in centimeters and it says work out what value of A is. Now the value of A is the number before the units so I don't have to put units on this but you don't lose a mark if you put units on it as well, which would be centimetres squared. 